We're back at it. Here. That's a profound statement, and one that's not really all that obvious. For thousands of years, planets were just bright lights in the sky, one-dimensional points that wandered among the fixed stars. How could the Earth be one of them? How long were you on hold? Uh, five and a half minutes. Tim was on hold. <laughs> and so he has it on speakerphone, the music's playing, and then all of a sudden it's just like, bye, and hung up. <laughs> Henry, yeah. how do we know that gravity is a pulling force? No, I don't want to use that. I uh, will use this. Okay. Okay, but how do we know that it was pulled and not pushed down from above? At this scale, you can't tell in this room. Okay. But if you get to a large enough scale, there's this thing called a tidal force, which means that gravity pulls in a slightly different direction depending on where you are. It's much harder to explain it in terms of a pu pushing force when you have it pointing all towards one thing in the middle. Mm -hmm. Probably the best answer is that if you actually tried to write down a model, like with some equations... The math just doesn't work? ...that you're not going to get something that can give you the right predictions. Okay. Which is essentially what science is. I suppose right. the, the theory of gravity as a pulling force works. Right. Theory right. in the scientific sense, not the colloquial yeah. sense. And in fact, in fact, there's um, some lectures by Feynman where he talks about, like, well, maybe you could imagine gravity as, like, due to, like, particles that are flying through space. Like, suppose that there's, like, at every point in space, there's, like, particles flying from every single direction, like, just little mi miniature things bumping into you. Normally, if you're out in the middle of space, these things are just pushing you in all directions, and so you don't go anywhere. But if there's a big, you know, object, like the Earth, that blocks them coming from one direction, now they're all, these little particles are only coming from above and not from below because the Earth is blocking them. Right. And so that is a model of gravity as a kind of like pushing force that you can imagine. Yeah. Like as if it's like there's these things that are coming and hitting us. Yeah. And it turns out that that model doesn't make, a lot, it makes a lot of wrong predictions hmm. about the way that gravity works. No one has come <laughs> up with a sufficiently like functional model for gravity as a pushing force. Okay. So. I believe you. And we have come up with good models for electricity and magnetism as a pushing pulling force depending mm. on the charges. Right? So if you want some pushing, you know, that's how pushing woo, happens. Woo, woo. <laughs> um thanks for answering my question, Henry. No problem. <laughs> Sarah, your station over there looks like a it looks like you're sitting in a holy shrine of sticky notes. It doesn't just look that way. Oh, you're right. Sarah has asserted that if you go to Wikipedia and start on any article and just click the first link and then click the first link in that article and so on, you eventually end up on the Wikipedia page for philosophy. Uh, we're starting on Sarah Palin. Oh, oh you guys are philosophy. American. Shit. Uh, well, what do you count as the first link? Does disambiguation count or no. does it... Like, in the article. In the article. Federal Republic. Federation. Latin. Ancient. Mediterranean Sea. Sea. Ocean. Ancient Greek. Greek. Modern Greek. Greek. Modern Greek. Greek. Okay, so I'm not going to count the, the, the thing where it... Are you in a loop now? Technically, yes, but I'm going to ignore things describing where the word, like, the, the etymology of the word. So this would go to Indo-European. Family. Languages. Human. Hominin. Tribe. Biology. Natural science. Science. Science, uh, universe, <laughs> space time, physics, matter, light, electromagnetic radiation, form of energy, energy, property, modern philosophy, philosophy? Boom! Told you! <laughs> it's four in the morning. I spent all night working on my Christmas song, hoping to get that out this year. I started working on this song last year, but didn't finish it, so... We'll see what happens this year. Before I go to bed, I want to point out something amazing that happened. This was in the comments from two videos ago. Much to do about Nout. Always comments neat. Literally every single video. Neat. This has been going on for months and months and months. Just neat. Never anything else, just neat. But on the non-denominational holiday party video, they left a long elegant, well thought out comment. When I saw that, I was like, what? This comment from Much To Do About Nout probably made my 2014. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. I'm going to sleep. I will see you tomorrow. Good night.